Okay, this is the current situation in Libya, October the 15th, very early in the morning before dawn. In Tripoli, there has been a massive uprising within the city and clashes over entire areas of Tripoli. It all started in Abu Salim, but quickly spread elsewhere. People had already been called for large protests on October the 14th. When the protests started, NATO bombed the civilian protesters and rebels opened fire on the protest. This infuriated the people, and they took up arms and started a rebellion across the city. A helicopter that was firing on the people was shot down, and another transport helicopter, a Chinook, with 44 rebels was shot down. 200 NTC rebels have died, and many more are injured in the fighting. Areas of Abu Salim and Tanjura and Hadba have freed themselves from the rebels, while other areas have placed green flags. Two headquarters of NTC rebels were burnt and a NTC ammunition warehouse was destroyed. The tribes of Warshafana and Warfala and others have arrived into Tripoli and there has also been sub-tribes of Warshafana surrounding the city from the west and southern outskirts of Tripoli. Saif al-Islam said in a live speech that he is with the tribe of Warshafana at the outskirts of Tripoli and about to personally enter soon. There is fighting in front of the embassies, and there was a call to take the French and UK ambassadors to Bani Walid. Musa Ibrahim stated that the Rixos Hotel and Military Base 77 will soon be recaptured by the Green Resistance. Insert. Green Resistance today attacked the rebels at the outskirts and killed 150 rebels and many were injured. The rebels made a large retreat of several kilometers as word came that there was a mass uprising across Libya against the NTC rebels. People died from starvation after over three weeks of siege and people are drinking their own urine and doing anything to survive. There was a large celebration in Sirte when rain fell in the city as they could then drink the rainwater. Things are that bad. NATO continues to pound the city. Misrata. Rebels continued fighting each other at the port area over weapons, but today the Green Resistance has entered Misrata from the south and clashes continued between the Green Resistance and NTC rebels. Benghazi. Green Resistance of Benghazi destroyed a rebel convoy and burned many pickup trucks and killed 44 rebels and injured many others. Libyan General News. The cities of Garayan, Saba, Ajalat, and Surman are now free and under green resistance control. Zawiya. The city of Zawiya has been very tense. As soon as the October 14th protest started, the tribes of Zawiya immediately started attacking the rebels everywhere. Many rebels died and many more were injured. The hospitals of Zawiya were already full with 1,500 injured rebels arriving from the Bani Walid front lines. The hospital of Zawiya closed down in order to hide the dead and injured. NATO is supplying more rebels to Zawiya as fighting increases. The Kamas Brigade has destroyed a rebel convoy heading from Tripoli to Zawiya. Some NATO special forces were part of that convoy. People of the south of Tunisia made protests against rebels transporting weapons on Tunisian soil and using it to kill Libyans. The protest was peaceful until a rebel killed a Tunisian and then burned his flag. Inside Tunisia, the people became furious and started killing rebels and burned 40 rebel cars and trucks. Fighting spread all across southern areas of Tunisia after the incident. East Libya. There was an NTC rebel protest in support of the NTC of Syria. They chanted down with Assad and burned the Syrian flag and called for NATO intervention in Syria.